Katie from What Katie Did and welcome back. Today I'm talking to you in my lingerie, which is something I'd never thought I'd do, but there, there is a reason for this. When I started What Katie Did 20 years ago, I can remember doing our first ever shoot, which was for seam stockings. And I was very, very daring when it came to this shoot. Uh, we went to the local play park, me and my friend Fran, with an old-fashioned camera. This was before digital cameras. And I sat on a swing because we needed to get the legs underneath. And I would only shoot up to my knees. That's how daring I was. But the pictures came out really well. And, and that's how what Katie Dare actually started, our, our first ever photo shoot. And I never actually told anyone they were my legs. So that, that's a secret between me and you. So over the last 20 years, yes, I've come a long way. And I, um, I'm actually a lot more comfortable like this than, than I thought I ever would be. So, you know, things change. And yeah, things are good. So, um, just a little chat about my styling today. I'm inspired by Mamzelle Maz, who, if you are on the London lingerie scene, and yes, there is a London lingerie scene, you've probably come across Mamzelle Maz, who, who does a lot of PR for a lot of independent lingerie brands. And she worked for us for a while, and she used to wear our, our bullet bra under sheer blouses, and she used to look absolutely amazing. So, when I saw this sheer blouse at the Melrose Trading Post in, in LA a couple months ago, I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try that. And, and go for a Mamzelle Maz look and I didn't think I'd be able to pull it off but I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the way it came out and I'm looking forward to wearing this look in real life too and I hope you like it as well. On to the main subject of girdles. A couple of months ago I did a video on girdles and uh, since then a couple of you guys have asked questions about them which I thought I'd better answer in more detail and we also did a shoot a few weeks ago with Jezebel Thunder and we took the opportunity to film her moving in girdles and as you know it's so good to see things in motion because on a the film there, there is no photoshop and you can see exactly how things look which, it, which is great so, so there's, no, there's no trickery there and also of course I'm, I'm in one as well so you can see that later. One thing I forgot to mention in my first girdle video is how to put them on. And um, you need to step into them. You definitely don't put, pull the girdle over your head. And this is something we have said at What Katie Did for, for many, many years. Most shapewear you, you need to step into and wiggle in and, and pull it up. And it should be a struggle to get into. We have had a couple garments over the years where a couple people have said the only way they can get into it is to pull it over the head. And this was in the case of our torsolettes. But our torsolette we no longer make. And so all our garments now, you should be able to wiggle into them, but they, it, it should be a struggle. For example, I had a customer query me about our underbus girdle, which I'm wearing at the moment. And so I tried it on to, just to check and to see. And when I, when I was putting it on, I, I, obviously I tried it on when we designed it and everything, but I don't wear girdles on a day-to-day -day basis because I wear, I wear a corset every day. So when I was putting it on, I, I, I was doing the hooks and eyes and I was like, wow, this is tight. Should it, should it really be this tight? And then a couple of weeks later, I put it on Jezebel Thunder and she was like, wow, is it really supposed to be this tight? And I was like, yes, 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 this is how tight. So the first thing is, Especially with our underbus girdle, which has a hook and eye front, yes, yes, it should be very tight, and you should be thinking, is this too small? Because you know it it, it needs to be tight to, to do anything to your body. It needs to gently smooth everything out. So it's, once you're in, it should be supremely comfortable. But but getting into it, it, it is a bit of a struggle. That's that's to be expected. Our girdles come in varying degrees of control from our matress girdlet, which you can see Jezebel wearing. Through to our glamour girdle. our thermos control girdle which is our underbus girdle. The 
girdles, you really need to take into account your waist size because if the waist is too small, then you, you can get a muffin top here. Obviously, our underbust girdle um, solves that issue because it's, it's a longer line. But if you're wearing something very tight on the waist, then, then you could get a muffin top here where your girdle ends. So you do have to take into account your measurements, even though it is a relatively easy fit garment. Um, if, you, if the waist is too small, then, then you will get a bit of, bit of flub, flub here above your waistline. The main query I've had regarding our girdles is to do with our underbust girdle. Now, our underbust girdle is quite long in the body and it's designed, as you can see, it's designed to meet your bra and give a smooth line all the way down. And the good news is, is that this means you don't have to worry about any squidge above your waistline. However, the, the um, girdle is quite long and it has two, two bones at the centre tummy, which are 11 inches long. So before you purchase this garment, you need to measure your torso quickly because when you stand up, um, you're, you're all stretched out and elongated and when you sit down you kind of scrunch together and one customer pointed out to me that they had a little bump at the waist which I have, which I have as well and this is caused by your torso compressing a little when you sit down so you do need to check your torso as you can see here and I'll, I'll stand up to show you so when I measure my torso standing up the bone is 11 inches long and there is plenty of space there. As you can see, everything's straight and everything's tucked in and looking good. But when I sit down, my torso compresses a little bit. And to get that 11 inches in, I have to, I have to really sit up straight. And I can, I can pull the, the girdle up a little bit to smooth everything out. And everything's nice and smooth again. But if I slump, then I do get a wrinkle here. And if you have a shorter torso, again, you'll have a wrinkle here. And this is what... Um, the, the customer of ours pointed out is that they had they had a huge waves on their tummy and that we found out we just we kind of worked out there were two reasons for this one is that she had a, a short torso which made things crumple up more and secondly that the girdle was actually too big for her because if if it's not a real struggle to get into there's basically more mo more movement for the garment to move around and and not lie flat to your body so if you are looking at the underbust girdle yes it is a great garment. Um, you you do need to, you might need to pull it up and smooth it out when you if you are sitting if you're doing a shoot obviously if you're wearing your girdle under clothing you won't you won't notice any lumps or bumps anyway and finally yes yes it should be very very tight for you to get into it should be a struggle to get into so if it's if you're doing up the clips and thinking oh this is great but it's not actually doing anything that's because it'll be too big for you if you do have any questions about vintage shapewear or girdles, please get in touch. And in the meantime, I'll catch up with you soon, so take care.